Hey everyone, it's Jen and you're watching Living This Catholic Life where we talk about all things Catholic and how they pertain to our everyday lives. And today we're going to talk about the movie Nefarious and what my thoughts are uh, versus what other people's thoughts may have been, other critics, and so on. Um, it is an independent film. Um, it is written by Carrie Solomon and Chuck Konzelman. It is um, a Christian film, um, but it is classified R, and it is under horror because it does have a scene at the end that might be a little harsh for certain people's sensibilities. Um, it does star Sean Patrick Flannery, who you might remember him from Boondock Saints. He's a really great actor and he does amazing in this movie. The movie is about, on the day of his execution, a serial killer has to get one final psychiatric evaluation to prove that he is sane enough to go through with the execution. A psychiatrist has come in to do the evaluation and he tells the said psychiatrist that he is not who he, uh, a man, that he is in fact a demon named Nefarious and that this psychiatrist who's come in to do his evaluation is going to have committed three murders by the time he leaves. So it gets you right off the bat. Um, I think that Sean Patrick Flannery did an amazing job in this movie. Um, he has to go between the character he plays, which is Edward Wayne Brady, which I don't know if they did that on purpose, but it seems to be really close to John Wayne Gacy, who was also a serial killer. Um, that kind of like, you know, clicked right off the bat for me. Um, and he goes between Edward and this demon nefarious who claims to have inhabited um, this Edward's body. Um, now, Rotten Tomatoes gives this a 35%, which isn't very good. IMDb gives it a 6.3 out of 10. And Common Sense gives them a 2 out of 5. But what's really interesting is the audience rating summary is 4.7 out of 5 stars. Now, why is that, do you think? Well, if I had to guess, I would think it's because the media... And all those associated with the media and the world's global thing today is probably against this movie, Nefarious, coming out. And the people that are watching it are saying, yes, we need this. This is something we've definitely needed. The world needs to hear this. It needs to know. I thought it was kind of strange that um, to rent this movie, I paid $19.99 to rent this movie. I mean, I had it for 36 hours. I was able to access it through Prime, but it was $20. Whereas at the same time, if you um, rent The Pope's Exorcist, it has Russell Crowe in it, it's $5.99. I mean, I don't know if it has anything to do with it being, you know, an independent film or whatever, but it just it's a lot harder or they make it a little more difficult to access this movie is seems then then maybe some of the others and to the Christian world um, and the Catholic world especially um, they do not like the movie the Pope's exorcist it's based on the life of Father Gabriel Lamorth who was the Vatican's exorcist and they just completely hollow it eyes it and there's a lot of false information and a lot of them actually went so far as to say that if Father Gabriel Amorth was still alive he probably would be livid and and do everything he could to shut this movie down while at the same time in my opinion this movie nefarious is the real deal I mean, there's no Hollywood tricks. There's nobody clinging to the ceiling, climbing up the walls backwards, twisting their head 360, you know, throwing up pea soup. It is the bottom line. It's like you are in the head of the demon, why they exist, how they came to exist, and what their job is on this planet. And for me, I was taken in right from right from the first five minutes. I was like, I'm in, I'm in, I'm in. Um, but besides, um, um, that there, there was some personal, um, reviews that I'd read and it's either really bad or really good. Again, as everything in this society today, there's no middle ground. Everyone is completely divided as to one side or the other. And you either get, you know, um, it's a theological 
you know, philosophical, metaphysical debate um, that is based on malarkey, basically, is what they're saying. I can't really say what they said, but that's basically what they're saying. To, um, you know, it's the most wonderful thing we've ever seen. But I think um, I'm going to read this opinion uh, by a Mason Thorman, and it does appear um, that he had some kind of uh, collar on, so I don't know uh, in his picture if he is in fact a priest or a reverend or something of that nature, but um, I'm not going to read his whole thing, um, but this is kind of uh, where he's coming from, and I agree with him. It says, if I could, I would give this movie 10 stars. Not noting the works and conferences of Father Chad Ripperger, who is a very popular exorcist now that you can find on YouTube everywhere. And I'm a staunch follower of Chad Ripperger. He's, he's amazing, Father Ripperger. Um, this movie was one of the most accurate and theologically sound movies I've ever seen. Usually these movies are all about glorification of evil and they often err in matters regarding spiritual warfare and just spirituality in general. But this film was quite the opposite, um, which it was. This film does a marvelous job at capture, capturing the ongoing fight between man who is created in the image and likeness of God and the demons who want nothing else but to ruin that very image by dragging their soul to hell with their incredible patience. And I'm going to stop right there for a minute because that is the key. Demons have incredible patience, and he proves that in this. He explains from age of three all the way up to now how they get you and how they can make you think everything is just fine and how society thinks it's okay. So we're just going to keep going. And the church, the church, why doesn't the church become more like society? Why doesn't it get up with the times? And why doesn't it this? And why doesn't it that? The church is so antiquated. And by the time this demon gets done talking, you're just like in awe. Like you think about your own life and how they have completely steamrolled you and, and got you to believe that everything that's going on in this world is completely acceptable, perfectly fine. That would normally be heinous, disgusting, and intolerable to most Christians. Um, and then he says, um, it explains how we have to go through a series of yeses before they can enter your body, referring to the allowance of God. Yes, you have to say yes to them more than once, and it doesn't matter when. Um, I don't want to say too much more about the movie um, because I don't want to give it away. But if you have the chance to watch this movie, you need to watch it. It's not horror, as in there's no jump scares, really. There's no gore. Uh, except for like a last scene, which is, I wouldn't really consider it gory, but it, it's, it's violent. Um, but the horror of it all is the truth that is spoken and the horror. It's like when you realize that you've done something wrong and all of a sudden someone gives you a death sentence and you're like, holy cow, I'm going to die in the next five minutes. And your whole life flashes before your eyes. And you're like, oh, I should have done this. And I should have done that. And why didn't I do this? And why didn't I do that? And it's just like you realize how much you've been taken in. And it could change your life. It really could. It really could change how you see things. Because as this gentleman stated, and as I, as a follower of Chad Ripperger, has, has, will state, Father Chad works with demons every day. He basically says he beats up intelligent beings and they are, they're incredibly intelligent. And if we think we're smart enough to defeat a demon who has been around for how many thousands of years and I'm 50 years old and I'm going to beat this thing without the help of God or just with my own witch, you're crazy because it's not going to happen. And this movie is going to prove to you just how stupid you are how stupid the human race is and how easily that these demons can get people to do anything they want. I really, really, really think that you should bite the bullet and just pay the $20 to rent it. There was no purchase possibility there, which is a whole other can of worms. But if you pay the $20, you have 36 hours to watch it. And I watched it twice and I completely loved it. So please, 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 if you value your your Christian sensibilities, and you want to know what really goes on in the mind of a demon, 
you need to watch this. So pray the rosary every day. I hope you all stay well, and I'll see you soon. God bless.